Kanto's war effort is going badly. It was clear that we cannot win by force alone. But we had something that Lance and his boys did not. Something we knew was key to victory. The minds of the brightest scientists in the nation. Oh, cool. Ever since the starting of the war, Oak had been landing a number of secret innovations to capture and harness the power of one Pokémon. One so rare, most laymen thought it was just a legend. But legends don't win wars. Oak knew better. Oh, Mew. Once word got back that Dr. Fuji had the last caught hold of Mew, we knew there was no chance the public could know. It was to be the region's best kept secret, and our only chance of winning. But you could not be brandished like an artillery on the battlefield, the way Lance did his Johto dogs, and nor did Oak expect it could. By far the strongest Pokemon in existence but contained in the very body of the most benevolent and soft-hearted creature you could ever see. We couldn't make the thing knock out a magic cup for sport, let alone get revenge on a crowd of enemy monsters on in the field. So Oak decided on another solution to harness Mew's power. We would create from its genetic clone, considered from the birth to be developed of empathy and possess the inerrant urge for battle. They called it the Mewtwo Project. At a time. I was the richest man in Kanto, and, de and a devoted member of uh, Oak's Elite Four. I wanted to do everything I could for Kanto, so I funded the project. An imprinous team was assembled. Blaine, Fuji, Bill, and Professor Shin Shingi Shingigi, Kanto's authority on genetic engineering. Each member was a genius in his own right, and wasn't afraid to work day and night for months for a chance to save Kanto. But, the project proved much more difficult than we expected. Most test cases came out formless, half-dead pieces of flesh that did not resemble Mew in any way. Dittos. One of the earliest failures was particularly nasty. Though equally as erotic and disgustingly shaped as the others, this newborn monster has inherited new strength. Ooh. It broke free from its test tube and escaped the lab, killing several of the earlier specimen in its wake. It's a super ditto! <laughs> little incident became known as the catastrophe and it scared the scientists as well as it did me I began to lose faith in my investment and I think Oak was starting to feel the same way luckily however Dr. Fuji soon gave new hope to the project who suggests a way to contain use power within a solid si sentient body by creating a clone that would combine Mew's DNA with that of a human. Initial tests proved promising, 
and the scientists agreed to each contribute a sample of their own DNA to be used for the Mew clone. Oak was the only one who refused to provide a DNA sample. His skepticism for the project had been now risen to the peak. Ironically, however, Fuji's theory proved correct. Sooner than anyone could anticipate, the team had produced their defined Mewtwo. A human-like, immense, powerful psychic Pokemon, possessing the requisite cold, bloodthirsty mind and intellect. Before anyone could prepare for, for the field, however, the Mewtwo project reached a natural conclusion. Devastated in empathy, but intellect, the newborn clone could find no reason to fight for Kanto's cause. Why the war did not appeal to Mewtwo, we couldn't quite say, but it refused to be used as a military weapon. And when we insisted, it rebelled. With psychic powers, we had no means of t to control. Mewtwo ruined the lab and escaped the scientist who had given it life. Driven, we believed the desire to find worthy Pokemon opponents. It sought refuge in the depths of a dangerous cave inside of Cerulean City. As far as I know, that is where it still hides to this day. No capture ex expedition since. Not by the government. By us or any other party, for that matter. It is not. It has been successful. Soon after Mewtwo's escape, it was all over. Oak announced Kanto's surrender to Lance and Johto, ending the war. We had done our best to destroy all evidence of the project, but there was no hiding the team's involvement in, in some kind of military research. Fuji was the first to throw in the towel. The old coward openly plead allegiance to Lance, accepting in terms he'd given to him. Blaine and Bill were more than reluctant. They eventually followed suit, though. Now, as this Shigige, nobody knows. The old guy is missing ever since the end of the war. And me, well. Well, Lance stripped me of my Elite Four position right quick. And Oak, the bastard trader, left me to fend for myself, as I hadn't invested my heart and soul, yet alone my personal fortune, to defend a home that was now taken over by foreign aggressors. I knew it wasn't right. I knew that... I, that Kanto Large, had been cheated the battle we could have won. And I vowed then that if Lance could have be taken down through legitimate means, then I would cripple him from the inside. I never looked back. So now you see, Tej, why recent developments have made me very concerned indeed. Altaria, darling. I need you to leave Viridian. We have no time to waste. With this red twerp running around, we could leave the gym un unmaintained. You and I will guard- you will guard it in my absence. If that is what you want, Giovanni. But he won't like it. Our- our- Nonsense! My son will come with you to Viridian if need be. It will do him good. Very well, Giovanni. I'll be on my way. You need silver? <sighs> I 
Listen, Tej. Oak must despise everyone who worked on the Me Too project. If all of a sudden he has business with Fuji after all these years, it can't be good news. I can't imagine he still believes he can find some way to get you two after all these years, but supposing he did, we have to know. That is why, Teach, I want you to go to Palatine yourself, confront Oak in his lab, and get to the bottom of what he's up to. If that means res resorting to force, then so be it. The old guy is banned from Pokemon battle, so he's likely to put up much of a fight anyways. And while you're there, do you see if you can gather any more information about this red kid or his family from the locals? Any key information, any weaknesses that we can exploit would be of great help. All clear, Tej? Very good. Just one more thing before you go. I like this outfit, actually. Oh, Coleman Admin! He just been promoted to Rocket Admin. I'll say it, it was about time you've earned my trust, Teej. With this rise in rank, I think you'll sense no trouble stealing Pokemon from teenagers or even women trainers. You'll also be obliged to carry these. A Rocket Pager? Cool. This device will beep whenever you, whenever I want one or all of my admins to report back to HQ. Whatever it goes off, I expect you to make your way here as soon as possibly can. Sir, yes sir! That is all. You've shown a lot of trust to each other. why I've chosen to invest in you like this. Do you not let it go to waste, does that understand? Now off you go, admin. No time to waste. Sir, yes sir! Off to Pallet Town. Hey, TG, yo, yo, yo! Damn, boy, what's with the new getup? Say what? They made you little TG an admin now, did they? Well, no jokes. So now you can rob women and teenagers, is it? Yeah, congrats, blood. I know, given all the inborn gangster skills, it speaks to my modesty that they didn't promote me to yet, doesn't it? Nah, you don't deserve it. Now, now, I've got more juicy news. Oh, now you're going to Pallet Town to interrogate Professor Oak? Dude, no way, that's too rad. You know, they didn't even give me a new mission yet. That's because you don't deserve one. You fucked up. Why, now isn't... I'll come with you to Pallet Town so we can beat up old Professor together. Oh, man, fate is too kind, isn't she, Teenage? Uh, what? I agree to nothing. Well, Pallet Town is west, isn't it? So either we head from Mount Moon through that pesky Diglett Cave or Breviridian. We get on the right track right on. Let's get cracking. You better be a good cop, Teej, because I'm bad as hell. Oh my god. I don't want him with us. He's a piece of shit. I'm an admin now. I'm an admin now, baby. Ooh, we have Bill. Hi there, Teej. It's been a while. Fill me in on the latest rocket news, if you would. Oh, now? The little autistic kid knocked you all out, senseless? <laughs> Sorry, but I find that kind of humorous. Some kid? Oh. And what, Giovanni finally realized his wartime secrets? Good, then you're fully on the same page now, aren't we? I suppose I told you about the catastrophe as well, then. Yes, yes, that Mewtwo is shut off in Celadon Cave. But I'm curious, did he happen to know what became of Mew after the project was shut down? No, very well. Keep it the good work, Tej. You're a good friend to have. I'll talk to you later. Wait, what? Okay. So. Let me think here. I'm going to... Are we allowed to go north here?
Ew, why would I want Leer? Okay, what level are Pokemon in Rocket Tunnel? Fifteen. Eh, that'll do. I'll be back. All right, I have trained up here. I've grabbed Sand Slash and Slowpoke to replace Poliwag and other things. I figured a ground type will help even out our team a little. So let's head to Pallet Town. Fly, Pidgeotto. Fly me to Vermilion City so we can head through Diglett Cave. Grab a couple repels and head through here. Well, if it isn't a surprise, dig the dig this tunnel, go straight to Vermilion. Okay, cool. Let's go! We're on our way. We're gonna rob. We're gonna steal. We're gonna pillage everything in sight. Cause we're now a Team Rocket admin now. He didn't add the repel thing into this patch. Come on at route 2. Hey there, good fellow. Nice weather we have here. It isn't harsh because you're looking for a certain HM. The light's up. Haha, <laughs> did you know? Let's call it intuition. My dear friend, it was good news for you. I wasn't actually look. Okay, we'll take a flashlight, I guess. For a thousand. Gah! What brings you to my house, Rocket? Keep on behavior... Wait, what? I'm looking for a Pokemon called Abra. Yeah, no. Rest assured, no cause of dismay. Help is near! Vastly! Eyes! Let's Loto cutting of is at your service! Would you like to bear witness to my cutting wonders of mine? I'll annihilate it for you, these trees around Pewter and Viridian, to hamper you this Pokemon adventure of yours no more. For the minus three of a thousand, naturally. Now let me allow. Oh my lord, what a cut! The night that brings tears to my tears to my eyes. Dear trainer, every time uh, you need my cutting skills in this region's most beautiful trees, you'll find me. Until we meet again. What? Now we go, Peter. Now. I wonder what Brock has to say about us. You're one of those rockets, aren't you? You're just the type I'm looking for right now. Look, I can't say it anymore. I need some thug like you to help. All right, listen. So I was dating this cop who stationed at Viridian in Viridian City. I mean, I'm a sucker for guys in uniform, what can I say? I mean, he's a real stud. Fights crime real good and all, no offense. But you know, with great big four separating us, get the time to each other see each other more often, okay? God damn it. That son of a gramble is cheating on me, I know it! I mean, I didn't want to believe it either, but it's clear as day. First he comes in late to our date. There's a forest in between you, though. Then he starts forgetting to call me goodnight. The sides were obvious. But then last week, I decided to come to Viridian for a surprise date, see? I went up to his place, and guess what I saw? He was hanging out alone with some other girl! The most disgusting fake little bimbo I've ever saw. Laughing and smiling together. Grr, it makes me livid. That lying, cheating bastard thinks he can walk all over me. Okay. Go on down to Viridian, and give him a nice old beating. Then more he cries, the more I'll pay you, Rocket. And as you to walk away, make sure you let him know who it came from. Then I'll see who's laughing. I was go. I have to go through Viridian to go to Pallet, anyways. Let's grab that. Grab 
that. All right. Silver? Oh, great! More of my dad's goonies incoming now. Tell me, what is... Why does he do it? Order all of this dirty work. Is he too much for a coward to do things himself? Why couldn't he just come here himself? Okay. Ah, <sighs> it was never use, was it? Welcome to Viridian City Siege. Yeah, okay. So where is this? He said, as this cop? My, my, what do we have here? Rocket brain in the flesh. I'll give you this. Oh, wait. Are you here for a personal issue? Nope. Well, then I'm here. Oh, wait. Are you here because of a personal issue? Oh, what's that? Nurse Joy and or something? <laughs> oh, my. Yes, isn't she the loveliest woman I've ever laid eyes on, Rocket? In fact, keep... Keep low on my superiors, but I've got enough time. Please bring her this bouquet of roses to express my love. Wait, huh? You're gonna do what? Beat me up? Why in the world? I will stand for this rocket in the name of the law. I'll defend myself. Your name's Ted. Hi, Growlithe. She. I probably don't need Sand Slash because I can deal with water types with. Polly World, Jolteon. And a Macha, Pidgeotto! Dirty Criminal! What's going on? Rocket, I could have charged with assault. How could I ever say Joy would send someone to attack me? Then why would she, huh? She thinks I'm being unfaithful! Why? But that's unfathomable. I can never want it, another woman. In fact, I'll stay away from, but the lightest conversation with a young lady is not to be given a false impression. I can't see how anything is done could make her think. Hey, Teddy! There you are, neighbor. Say, would you mind watching out my jinx again for a while? Oh, it's a jinx. For bingo this evening? <laughs> it was a jinx. She had such fun with you last time, isn't that right, Jinx? Oh my god. Miss Joyce blind. Why, of course, sir. <laughs> Splendid, I'll just leave her with you then. He had a Jinx? Alright, where were we, Rocket? Oh yes, they're saying there's no reason for anybody should suspect the harbor instance of the Jinx. But, you're not suggesting that. She saw me with the old man's jinx and thought. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, no. My lover must be worried sick. Help me undo this terrible misunderstanding, Rocket. Go back to Nurse Joy and Pewter Center and tell her that I truly never had eyes for anyone but her. Quickly, in the name of love. In the name of love. Well, Rocket, tell me what a pup you beat my boyfriend into. What? That girl I saw him with was, a uh, a Pokemon? That's the lousiest excuse ever. Oh, you saw it, huh? Huh. I guess he might not be such a cheating scumbag after all. Maybe. Maybe he's really just a really lovely guy who cares about me and respects me as a person. Maybe. Huh, what a laugh. I'm not convinced, but I guess he didn't need a beating up after all still. I should probably compensate you for clearing things up anyway, so I'll have this rocket. The red flute. You know, Rocket, I think being away from Teddy too long is driving me mad. I wish I had more time off so I could keep an eye on him myself. Problem is, I only ha I'm only i only the day shift nurse in this place. My boss won't let me cut more hours. Say, do you know a girl who'd want to work as my extra? Simplest job in the world, I'll tell you. Experience? Education? Nah, only qualification you need is a pretty face. You push a button here on the healing machine, and real sweet 9 to 5. Oh, and the start in the stair, uh, and in the stairs from all the admiring trainers who stopped by are sure young. Well, if I come across a gal who'd want the job, let me know. Yeah. 
Well, my would Oh, thank you for solving my romantic issue entirely so. But all the same, as long as I'm on duty, I must arrest the law. I'll give you this lucky egg if you keep your record clean long enough, so keep it cool. Teaches it? Let me see. Uh, there's no bounty on your head at all. That's what I like to see. More road is narrow, do the same. Keep this behavior, and this lucky egg will be yours before long. Eek! What's Rocky doing in our class? There's nothing sacred anymore? Nope. This game has a lot of cool side quests. Hey, do you know what sex with being a real badass criminal? All these Pokemon are just flat. Sell me balls and potions. I got a Growlithe, I got a Poliwhirl too. What am I saying? If you're not in the gutter, but a pack of nurse rockets. Something to do about it? Hmm? Tej, yeah, you're not quite bad enough, I'm thinking. Get yourself a bounty of at least 100,000, then come see- 120,000, then come see me again. So, if I'm good, I get items, but if I'm bad the rockets will give me items he doesn't know I'm an admin right here we are pallet town Huh? Why, yes, this is Red House, I'm his mother, but why? Oh, you want to know about him? I mean, he's a quiet boy, he's always so interested in Pokemon battles, and not much else. I'll tell you the truth, he's never had many friends at all except for Blue, who lives next door. But I don't know how good friends they really were. Wait, who are you curious about my son? I don't like this very much at all, please leave us alone. I will raid your house first. Can I help you? You're dressed in a way too bizarre to perform around here. I'm Blue's sister, that's right. He's a nice boy, he started growing to be a strong trainer, but I can't see why it matters to you. Oh, you're one of the... Our people from the city. Uh, you guys are real trouble, aren't you? I never thought I'd see real people. Can I commit crime here? Maybe. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so I'll find a little good information. Oh my god. Oh, she heals me with the divine power of Arceus. Cool. Game Boy, sad man. Oh my! Why, well, I'm not afraid of Professor Oak is here. He's pressing research matters to attend to somewhere. Please don't hurt me! Liar. I see him right up there. Ooh. What an Arceus name! A rocket! What? No, goodness, no, Professor Oak is not in. And I doubt he'd want anything to do with if you if I were you. Oh, stop right there, Rocket. I know, I'm your research egg, but I know better than to let you put your dirty fingers on Professor's rare Pokemon. Get off, Rope. And stop me from stealing it again. This is a surprise. Oh, my visits to Palatin over the years, and I never thought I'd, I'd see a fellow like you in a peaceful place like this. Oh, hi, Agatha. You're here for Oak, aren't you? Hmm. Oh, no, I have no intention of stopping you. We have much more in common than you probably think, Rocket. Say, it's not often to see new faces around these parts. Come in for a cup of tea. If you're not too busy, Palatin, it's such a wasteland for interesting conversation. Okay. Ah, well, well, your tea is excellent as always, Daisy. And the weather here is lovely. Oh, I do miss Pallet Town sometimes. You do not. Daisy here is my granddaughter, Teej. In fact, her brother is away on some Pokemon quest. I'm part of the Semblance family had left well me in Professor Oak when he bothers to show his face. A long time ago, we were t a tight knit couple, Oak and I. Samuel was a man of honor back in those days. He valued strength, vigilance, and purpose. He imbued it 
we raise the sun together. In the image of those principles, he turned out to be a great man and blessed us with two grandchildren to carry our values forward. Cool, I guess. But no sooner than Blue, their youngest, had been born, the world struck our family. Daisy and Blue both survived the unscathed, but our son and his wife both perished in the madness. Oh. And Samuel and I swore that we would avenge them. We would bring down Lance and make him pay for taking our innocent children. <laughs> would you believe it? He swore it to me. He gave me his word, Tiege. And then why? Why, just a little while longer, he committed the most heinous, cowardly, shameful act I've ever seen. He was champion, general of the army, and the most powerful man in Kanto. He gave it all up. All just to save a worthless skin. The soft, spineless fool that surrendered to Lance is not the man I loved. Ooh. Even if he didn't stand a chance, even if sinking it out, fighting for something he believed in, would have been ultimately meant his death. At least he would have been an honorable one. Grandma, please. I'm sorry, Daisy, for going out there. You know how I can get sometimes. I had be better get going, darling. Do take care of yourself and send regards to your brother. He's such lo you're such lovely kids. I can't say I approve of what your boss is doing around Kanto Teach, but I can say I didn't sympathize with your frustration. Not quite respect, but understanding. Until we meet again. I know. I don't think Grandpa really is a bad person. He really very cheerful and friendly. The way you show him his papers, he gave me and Blue a happy childhood, and I'm grateful. But, you know, there's just one thing that bothers me. Jeez. There you are, Tej. What's the holdup, dude? Uh-oh. Why are you looking all over for you? Sorry to interrupt a friendly tea party and all, but yo, you got Poke Professor to interrogate. Let's go hand that old man Oak. Oh no! Is it true, you disgusting thug? Grandma was wrong to trust a rocket for company. I knew I should never have allowed it. Gee, Teej, you sure fixed yourself a fancy date, huh? Well, no time for that. We gotta hit up the lab pronto. In all my days, you're not going anywhere. I wouldn't let low like thugs trespass on my home and family. Oh. Okay. I didn't know Daisy had battle a battle sprite. Or a Chansey! Hi! A Raichu?! Ow, she has, um... A hell of a team! Stand. Magnitude! Sand Tomb. Now we have Magnitude. Jolteon, finish this. I won't accept it! Get out of our house! See all the Pokemon from the- mm. She's a Raichu, but I can get a Raichu. Ponyta, I already have a Ponyta! Nidorina, I have a Nidorina. Yeah, that's nothing I need. Phew, well done, Teej. Quite the energy in this one. Leave it to me, now stand back! Wait, what? Veronicate, Hyperfang, go! Wait, what? Good riddance, Pokemon, that's strong. I don't want a girl like that. She's some rich family or other. I'll beat the kid and eradicate. See if you can find any valuables around here to loot. Really? Huh? What's the matter, Teej? You look like you've seen you haven't seen a rocket in action. <laughs> you little sissy, you. I bet you're good in, I bet a good interrogation should wake you right up, eh? 
Huh? What now? You checked the lab and the old guy's not even here? Well, gee, talk about a big fat waste that I ever saw one. Well, you're the one that... Well, it's a good thing I got a bit of action then, before we go. It's not a good day without at least one robbery, am I right? I guess it's meant back to ha HQ. Get out of here. You killed her. You'll pay for this. Well, I guess we'll head back to HQ. And then in the next episode, we will go back to Giovanni. See you guys then.